How's it going, everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Let me know how you guys' day is going down in the comments. Thank you for joining me today, guys. We're back with Annie. We're on top of this crazy, crazy, crazy hill. We woke up and we're starving. I got Annie all fed. Now we got the Distress Pistol. And we're on our way to the Lighthouse of Desolation Point. Which I think we have to go back out the way we came. And now that it's cold as balls, we have to make our way down this horrific mountain. Which means we're probably- oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I totally forgot the sleeping bag. That would have been bad news bears. So we have to get to the desolation point. That is my next goal. Um, we're running low on supplies. And if we had a hacksaw that we grabbed at the freaking cabin earlier, we would have, uh, we would have been freaking amazing right now. Walk with this much gear. That's not good, girl. Oh, dude, there's a hacksaw right here! Holy crap! Okay, hold on. Can we open this stuff? We can open this stuff! Oh, bro. Oh my gosh. What all is in here? Matches. Okay. Accelerant. Matches. Matches! Oh my... Jesus, all these matches and accelerant. Tons of matches. Yeah, I will take all the matches and accelerant. Dude. Okay, so I think you guys were telling me that I should definitely open these up because they have very good stuff in them. I now see why! If we can get a food one. Dude! Oh. <laughs> or if we can get like a lots of... A heavy hammer? A what? What do we even use this for? A hammer, a hammer suitable for metal working. I'm going to leave that. We're going to leave the knife. I'm not going to bring stuff that we don't need. I'm going to grab that just in case. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need nothing. Oh my god, there's so much stuff! There's so much stuff! We're getting so much stuff to out of these. I'm so glad we found that freaking hacksaw, man. What's in this one? Food, please, food. Herbal tea, okay. Tea, coffee, stuff. I, oh, I actually might need that coffee. Good, good, good. We might, we'll, we'll take two things of coffee. That's all I need is two. I don't need all this coffee. Is this just coffee and tea? Oh my goodness, all the coffee and tea lovers. I found your guys' crate here. Holy nuggets. Okay, holy biscuits and gravy. Is this, please tell me this is food. I need food. Military grade. This is like the best stuff. No, yeah, I'm taking all of it, man. We're never gonna starve. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're we're very cold, but that's totally fine. Oh wow, we can't even walk. Well, we're almost we're super encumbered right now. Alright, so we just got a bunch of stuff. And I mean a bunch of food. Um we got a bunch of supplies. The storm has kind of settled down a bit. It's not as bad. Uh, we are still cold. We're taking double movement speed, so we're getting a little winded. We're carrying a lot of crap, but crap we could use. Um, God, that hacksaw was like a blessing in disguise, man. So, I, I have my maps here on the side. We have to figure out exactly how to get down. Uh, I think it's just the exact way we came up. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get our gun out, just in case. So our, our main objective right now is to get to the lighthouse in Desolation Point. So it means we have to go back the way we came through uh, Pleasant Valley, which I believe is that way. So we're uh, that way. So we're gonna we're gonna make our way back down the down the mountain we just hiked back up. We have to go down two of them, uh, two tight ropes down. Um, I think one of them is near the cave that we kind of came up this way with. We have two tight ropes, or you know, ropes that we came up here with, uh, that we grabbed on our journey up here, um, and so maybe we could use it to get down a faster way. I don't know. I need to make it back to that cabin, though. That's my main goal right now, is to make it back to that I adventure's cabin. I'm calling it Patrick's cabin. Annie's cabin is what I meant. Annie's cabin. Okay, so I just noticed we have about three hours of daylight left, which is fantastic in a sense that we do need to rest. And after going down this thing, I'm sure we're gonna be a little bit tired. Okay, here we go, Annie. Just don't look down. Just go down. Just go down. Just go down. Just go down. Uh, my stamina is dropping. Actually, a lot slower now that we're going down. Maybe it's obviously a lot easier going down than it is going up. Uh, Annie's a freaking amazing, amazing freaking adventurer, man. I was just thinking, like, because my Pokemon Go addiction. Like, what if she had Pokemon Go? And it's so, like, I wonder what kind of Pokemon would be up here in the Alps. Up in the up in the Canadian areas, I don't know, man. Pokemon Go's infected me. It's infected me. Maybe she find Articuno. That would be sick. Okay, so we do have to be. 
We do have to be careful because there was a bear cave over here earlier. Now, I do not want to get mauled by a bear. Um, there's a way I can go down this way, right there. I could put a tight, uh, one of my um, mountaineer ropes there, but I don't want to go there. I want to kind of like loop around the mountain and I want to make it on at risk for hyperthermia. That's not good. Um, I want to make it around the bend and maybe go down one more set or at least get to the cave where we rested last time. I think that cave is like super, super nice. Super, super freaking like oasis level. So we have to get back there. What is that? That's a dead deer. Okay, uh, let's try to get to the cave safely. Good morning, everybody. So we just went to sleep for a long time. It's actually still, still nighttime. Um, so we just went to sleep. We kind of tried to survive in the cave for a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, we're gonna make our way down. I don't want to waste any time, man. We have two days and nine hours. So I don't, I don't want to waste any time. Is that a wolf? That's a freaking wolf. Oh, this is gonna suck. Can I shoot it from here? Can I? Oh my god, I can. Holy biscuits! Is there any down below me? That was a great shot, man! Holy nuggets. Okay, let's go down. Uh, I didn't think I was gonna hit that! Holy crap! This thing's a freaking sniper! Okay, so, there are wolves in this area, which I was literally about to say that is the nighttime terrors. Um, I don't want bad things to come and eat me feet. Eat, eat me feet. This would be bad. Okay, I want to reload, but I've got 12 rounds right now. Oh my god. I am on edge right now. Okay, so we're deploying some, uh, some rope. We're throwing it over the edge. And now we're going down. I don't see anything down there yet. Uh... Hoping to biscuit. That took a lot of weight off of us. We haven't been able to sprint this entire time because I think each one of these ropes weighs like 20 pounds. Something absurd like that. Something crazy. Okay. And Annie is freezing. So my whole big thing right now is to get to the... Uh, what I want to do is I want to get her to the, the hut that we went to a couple of days ago. Um, I want to see what's in there. But at the same time, I don't. I actually have a lot of stuff right now. I don't even want to, I don't even want to test to take anything else. Um, we're actually doing fantastic on energy right now. For just, I, obviously, we take a lot less energy to go down things than we do going up things. Alright, so after the long trek of down the mountains and such, we finally made it back down to the lake. Finally, we're back at Crystal Lake. I'm hoping I can walk across this without a break in and me freezing in water because that would suck. I haven't found any wildlife besides these deer. I think there might be... Wherever there's deer, there's always wolves. I know. Yeah, there's one over there by the trees, I think. Or it might be another deer. Hello, deer. Bye, deer. So we finally made it back to the cabin just in time, too, because we're freezing. We're a little winded. We've gone down a lot of ropes. Uh, we're pretty hungry. We're getting we're a little dry mouth. And uh, we're, again, we're freezing. That's the biggest thing. So, we're gonna get up in this cabin, rest a little bit, go back up the way we came when we came back down here during the blizzard, which sucked. And we're gonna get to Pleasant Valley. Alright guys, so we just pumped a little bit of coffee into Annie's veins. We got, uh, we got rest, which is the big important thing, and we're gonna get on our way. We have two days to three hours, nine hours of daylight left. We should get plenty of, we should get a lot of coverage out today. So I think we need to go back up this way, back up to the landing gear, I believe it is, and then through the cave, the little entrance that we got into this little valley into. I don't know if there's anything bad that could spawn on the way. I'm hoping not. Oh, please, Storm, go away. That would be lovely. It would be great. We don't have any more rock climbing gear, which is, I guess, a good thing. Um, I didn't want a lot of it. I think I have to go up the hill. I don't think I need to go that way. Maybe I do need to go this way. Um, well, we don't have any more, uh, you know, rope climbing gear. So if we have to go down... We have to go down a mountain. We're, we're kind of crap out of luck there. But I think everything that we came over here with, we didn't have any landing gear. So we have to go across Pleasant Valley. And then I think we can get back to the, um, the Coastal Highway. And then we can go from the Coastal Highway back to the Broken Bridge, which goes to Desolation Point. And then we just need to go to the lighthouse. And that's it. So it's just us surviving on the way back. So I'm hoping to get there. I want to get through Pleasant Valley within the nine hours that we have. Um, I don't know if the weather will put up with that or if Annie's, you know, if she'll have to rest or not. Right now we're doing fantastic time right now. 
As long as we don't come into contact with any big bad things like a bear or a cheetah. Okay, or a snow leopard, I guess, would be the thing. That would be so cool if they had snow leopards in Canada. Oh my god. Or wild dodo or something. That would be bad. All right, guys, we have now left Timberwolf Mountain forever, and we are now in Pleasant Valley. So we have to go across this big valley back to the abandoned mine that we went through a uh, way long time ago. And oh my goodness, we're freaking cold. We weren't that cold a second ago. We were like more than okay. So like a second ago, we were like more than halfway cold, and it wasn't it wasn't like rapid like that. I guess the wind is going this way now with us, which is probably why we're going a little bit faster. But that ain't, that's not good, man. Okay, so I'm looking at the stops of where we could stop and make camp for a little bit. There was like three cars or something where we could have made, not a camp, but we could have just taken a little bit of a break. There was also wolves. Wolves are my big thing right now. I do not want to see any wolves. There's some wood right there. How do we get the wood? Oh, there's a ledge. <gasps> we could just stop on the ledge. What is that? There's a freaking hatch right there. Oh, we can look around, but we use stamina if we just stay there. We're going to the hatch and watch for this hole to blow over. What's up, dudes? Oh, there's my campfire from last time. Hello, campfire. There's a friggin' hatch right here. Ugh, this cold is Don't worry about head. it. We're in a hatch now. Who cares? There's hatches way over here. Oh my goodness. What goodies will we find in here? I had no idea this even existed. Oh my gosh! So we got ourselves like a little light in here. I took the lantern. I dropped our old one. I didn't even know there's there could be hatches in here. Beef jerky, okay, stale. But beef jerky anytime is good, man. I don't even think I've had like stale beef jerky. That's just weird. But man, there's there's so much stuff in this game I never knew about. Like I only thought hatches. Well, it makes more sense now that hatches can exist literally anywhere. Um, how does it compare to the one that I already have on? That's what I want to know. I'll take a flare. Well, flares are always good. I don't want to overburden myself too much yet. Let's see how good that was. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll freaking exchange that. All right, guys. So I just looted this entire place. The, actually, the, the, the storm lantern didn't have a lot. I actually broke down a box just for the reclaimed wood that we could get because I think we'll need it. And by breaking it down, I, actually, I also got a lot warm, a lot of warmth. I got a lot of warm. So we're going to make our way back outside. Hopefully the storm is not going on because I would love that if it wasn't. And it still is. Well, nuggets. Okay, well, we're gonna make our way on. Oh, goodness gracious, this is going on. It's going crazy right now. All right, so we need to make our way. More stuff. I like this. Like, like wooden stuff, I will take any time of the day. We have a lot of that stuff. We have a lot of food. And I'm not joking when we say we have a lot of food. We have all that military-grade stuff on the plane, man. Okay, so I need to make my way as quick as I can across this map in the next six hours without having to get tired without having to, well eating and stuff only takes a second or two but i need to make it quick and avoid all the big things so i done made mistakes walking in the storm not a good idea we don't even have any hours of daylight left we have um i'm pretty sure we're close to the bridge and we're getting really cold really fast so this is not good um especially since up ahead there's a couple of bears that can spawn. Now, we didn't see any on the way over here, so knock on wood that there's none on the way there. Because that would definitely suck, since I can't even freaking see right now. But there were a couple of, like, cabins and stuff way up ahead. So I'm going to try to stick to the right side, because the bears can spawn on the left side of this little area. And uh, we're going to try to avoid them. Okay, guys. We're trekking our way through this, and we finally found the cabins. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This fr I, I know these are the abandoned cabins, but if we could just shelter ourselves for like a little bit, we're almost gonna get hypothermia, which would be really, 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 really bad. So I'm gonna try to get right up in here. Oh God, okay, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm gonna take your painkillers. Okay, okay, we need to make a fire. We need to make a fire right now, right now. All right, we have a fire going, finally. Okay, we're gonna totally just freaking add a brand. And a lot of this reclaimed wood, which is what I wanted. I'm gonna just put that in for two hours. Uh, we're doing fine right now. I think I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. Just make a cup of coffee. Wait for all this crap to just die over me. The, the storm right now is no big deal. It's no biggie. It's only gonna get nighttime here in a little bit. I think we have about five hours left, but I don't know how long that was ago. Let's go ahead and drink this cup of coffee. 
and we're gonna get all situated here. Okay, so before we leave, I'm gonna take a nice little cup of tea. Nice heated cup of tea. We have seven minutes on this thing left? That tea took like an hour to make, man. Okay, so we're gonna start walking on back, hopefully avoiding any big baddie things that come near us, because that would just... As I say that, it sounds like a wolf is behind me. Because wolves can't spawn in this area. So what I need to do is just stay on this trail and we'll hit the main road. We can take the main road back up. We'll need to take the first left trail back up to, to the uh, abandoned mine and then we'll be golden. We'll be back at the coastal highway and then we can make it to the desolation point. All right, guys, we finally made it. I think this is just around the corner from the abandoned mine. Oh my God. Now we're at risk of hypothermia. That's totally fine. It was a long trek, just walking randomly. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was a long trek, man. I'm thirsty, just, I didn't do anything, just totally focus. I'm like, we need to get here without any threats. And there wasn't, there was no threats, no threats at all. We're leaving Pleasant Valley. Oh my goodness gracious. And now we're in the spooky old mine again but at least it's warm. So I can't complain. We're gonna light this sucker up and walk on over. All right, guys, so we finally made it to the end of the coal mine. I just kind of booked it right all the way through the mine. Uh, this storm, it is still going. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. And it's, oh my God, we're so cold. All right, well, I, I don't even know if we can continue right now. We're in Coastal Highway. We are one region, I say two regions, because we just got here. We have basically this region, which we need to go down the hill, and then head all the way to the left, if we're looking this way. Head all the way down to the street, all the way down, right past Jackaboy, where he's chilling at the gas station, and uh, near Staticville, and then all the way down to the broken um, highway. Go across that, the freaking thing's right there, man. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill in here, I'm gonna save the game and call it a day. We've made ex- we made an extreme freaking trek today, man. We've covered more ground today than we have in a long time. But next time, next episode will be the end of this challenge. I can assure you. So I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Thank you again for hanging out with me today, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you already have it. I love your beautiful faces. And I will see you all next time for some more long dark. See you guys then.